Hello, we were we were in the armory, but I skipped some stuff because nothing happens. It's just running. But I wanted to show this off because yes, you mentioned it before. He will call you. Yes, I was right. Who the hell are you? One of them? There's a bomb in your pocket. Throw the bomb out first. <laughs> P.S. Who are you? Oh no, a bomb! A bomb! Not a bomb. Where is this bomb? It's oh, there you go. Oh. Yeah, he calls you when there's a minute left in the bomb. And it also changes the dialogue with I told you Colonel so. Campbell. <laughs> it changes the dialogue here a little bit too. Ocelot, you'll pay for that. That deep throat's a real enigma. He's definitely from inside their ranks. Uh. Is he an informer? Maybe some kind of renegade? I've got the feeling there's Maybe he's Batman. Here. <laughs> Wouldn't that be cool, Snake? Probably what if that guy what if that guy's Batman? Probably what if deep is Batman. What if Batman just decided to go by Deep Throat? Maybe he liked that name <laughs> more. Uh, also, if you call Miller while you're running on loud, loud surfaces, this happens. Snake, that floor is designed so that your footsteps. Just love his voice. That floor. Me too. There's a way to walk so your footsteps <laughs> won't be heard. I call it stalking. Here's I did it first. Matt Miller so invented it. Put your weight on the opposite foot I love this. <laughs> I've heard it before, and I was just like, I can't do that in the game. Yeah. Slowly lower the tip of your foot to the floor. Gradually shift your weight onto that. I can't. Use your knees to maintain the subtle balance. There are enough buttons to do that. I can't do it. Another way is to wear your socks over your shoes. If you crawl on your stomach, would that really work? I. I don't think so. I don't know. I guess it would. It would soften, soften it a little bit, but your your loud loud ass shoes are still gonna make noises. Also, if we go back to where Otacon was, we have a six level six card, which means we can get the body armor here, oh. which halves damage when you wear it. You are beefy now. Yep. You, this is actually um. You can get the body armor in several places. There's at least one other place. Or I think there's two maybe but um yeah this is the earliest place to get it it's a lot earlier too like you can't get if you miss it here you can't get it until the second disc of the game Whoa. yeah so you can get it way early what are you doing also, back here what we have the doing? digital camera so we're gonna take a picture of this police house poster uh, 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 uh. and nothing happened here yet but I saved it to my memory card, and at the beginning of the next video, we're gonna look at these pictures that I've taken, and something's gonna happen! I'm so excited! Oh. <sighs> I haven't seen any of this shit. I know. The, the th um, thing is, there's several of these pictures that you cannot get unless you start a new game plus where you've already unlocked the camera. But there's another one we can take right here. <laughs> it's, a it's a nice picture. Does it have to be while he's peeing? Uh, no. <laughs> it doesn't. Oh, I but it was like it's, an extra it's, challenge mode or something. <laughs> it's funnier that way. <laughs> You're just going in the bathroom taking pictures of dudes peeing. <laughs> There's another picture we could have taken if uh, if it were before the Psycho Mantis fight. We could go into the ladies' bathroom and take a picture of the mirror, but it's locked now. We can take a picture of these, too. Hmm. So how much space is this on your memory card? A lot, right? Every every picture takes two blocks, and a PlayStation 1 memory card can only hold 15. <laughs> Holy crap. So, th th thankfully, you know, I've got a PS3, which means I can just make infinite memory cards, but you can only have two active at once, and to switch them around, I think you have to quit the game, so it's a little annoying. Dang. Yeah. Also, Otacon gave us a handkerchief. I think you mean the hanker. The hanker. The handker. We got a handker, and uh, it it makes all the dogs like us fall in love with you. And it's a little bit better than the cardboard box because it means they won't get angry when you when they first see you come out of the come out of the holes you're crawling through because you can't wear a box while you're doing that. <laughs> One day they'll design a box that can do both at the same time: crawl and be box. It transforms. Different postal sizes. She's still just a pile of blood. <laughs> Being a little 
being, oh. being a little think you're being a little dramatic there, Meryl. Maybe. I don't know. You are getting shot a lot. Amber flashback. <laughs> This didn't happen that long ago, Gabe. Okay? <laughs> Remember that time? Like 20 Remember minutes ago? Time? Remember that thing that happened about, I don't know, maybe an hour and a half ago? Maybe two hours? Good times. I thought it was like way sooner than that. Well, it's probably about an hour and a half. Because the, the torture thing took about an hour. Uh, yeah. Go on living and don't give up on people. Maybe an hour and 15 minutes, I don't know. Oh, okay. Oh. Someone will inform us with the exact time. <laughs> burr, burr. You killed my daughter! <laughs> not, not his daughter, his niece! My niece! niece. I wasn't able to protect her. Niece. They're practically the same Snake. thing. Niece. <laughs> She's a soldier. She knows that prisoners are a part of war. My daughter niece is a soldier. She joined up of her own free will. I'm sure she was prepared for this. No. She's a big baby. <laughs> she has every time she soldier. talks about it, there's she opera music the and everything. Way. Trust me. She said she thought Just it carries a little Walkman with her. <laughs> she it's the only song that. on the cassette too. She wasn't ready for real combat. I shouldn't have pushed her so hard. Or we we got the same song it's again, but fault. it's uh. It's not like you, Snake. It's piano. Master. Oh. Master. What is it? Wow, Sorry the piano instantly me, stopped the second Miller button. Hello. Snake. You can have regrets if you want to. It's only natural. But you can't keep it. Speaking of nature, isn't Alaska wonderful? <laughs> Ask me about the flora and fauna here. You know, the snow, the rats, the rocks, snow, the rocks, the, s the ice, the snowflakes. Those are different. That's different from snow. Snow is a big thing of snowflakes. The hail. Meryl would say the same thing. The, the, the ice. Snake. What? Again. Meryl. She's Double ice. Ice, yeah. ice cubes. I know something about them too sometimes. Oh man, ice. You know, I... Earlier, I was brushing my teeth. And when I brush my teeth, I just walk around the whole house while doing it. I can't stand still and also brush my teeth. I have to walk, okay? So it's very common for me just be like getting ready for school and like putting on my shoes while also brushing my teeth at the exact same time wow. yeah um but this time i was just walking into the living room and my dad was watching something on tv and you know what movie he was watching is that right what ice spiders <gasps> i love that movie i haven't seen much i have not seen ice spiders oh i hear it's great it's fantastic my dad was watching Ice Spiders. Ice it was on the Sci Fi channel. Yes, Ice Spiders Mary, is really hilarious. Kind of want to watch Ice Spiders. It's a great I what has it. science so done. <laughs> uh, horror, quote unquote horror <laughs> movie. It's not really a scary at all. <laughs> but like, they, they developed like these super big super spiders that were like immune to being cold. And I don't know, but the military, <laughs> the military wanted this to happen for some reason. I don't know why oh. they decided to make giant spiders that. Could totally live in uh, a ski resort with tons of huh. young young people potentially having sex. So let's take a picture of Meryl's blood. That's not creepy at all. Oh no, I forgot to say cut this part out. Uh oh. Well, uh -huh. this is what the save screen looks like. <laughs> I showed it off. Ooh, Look. You did it on at purpose. Me. Yep, I did it. It's me. Hope I don't run into any ice spiders. <laughs> Oh, and like I mentioned before, sometimes there's cameras here. It's this time. It's right there. Just one. Just one camera to dick you over. What a bunch of crap. A single camera. Just a single gun camera. I know. There's one more picture we can take. Like, right... Here. Somewhere... I don't know if this picture actually came out right, but it's like right around this area, this middle, this middle column. Huh. There's something you can take a picture around the area, and you'll get something when you look at it in the photo album. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so ice spiders. Ice spiders. I don't remember like enough about it. I know uh, it opens with some hunters 
hunting deer or something, and all of a sudden there's like a, they see a spider yeah. through their scope, like a giant <laughs> spider coming towards them. Uh, and they freak second, out and run, and they get they get eaten eaten by the spider. Uh, oh, and here, here's something that's kind of a little bull crap. Uh, you know, we got we, bull crap. Wow, I haven't said that since I was like twelve. Wow. Um, <laughs> you know, we can peek around here, nothing happens. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw some chaff grenades I remember because this. you know there might be a camera. There might be a camera or something stupid like that. And I don't get a shot by a camera. Okay, the chaff. Oh, that camera still works even after. The chaff grenade blew up. I remember that. You can even peek in, like, into this room. Oh, he picked up some rope. There's just rope there for oh. some reason. Oh. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh god, uh, this part I forgot when this they was. <laughs> <sighs> so we gotta run up this big ass communications tower whilst infinite soldiers chase us. But. Hi, this, this part can honestly be really annoying. Oh, hi, cat. Um, or you can make this part way easier if you have a ton of stun grenades. At just every couple of floors, just throw a stun grenade. Oh, hello. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you just... See? Another stun grenade. And stun grenades in the original Metal Gear Solid... Oh, there's the door. Stun grenades in the original Metal Gear Solid just instantly knock everybody over in the room, no matter where they're at. Oh. Snake, that's the so door this, this whole it shaft count as one room, or...? Use the card. Yep. Oh, cool. I know that. That would've made that so much easier for me. <laughs> it's way easier if you just throw stun grenades every every few floors. I'm so bad at this game. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so okay. so sorry. It's my fault. <laughs> it's not your fault, it's my fault. From the outside. From the outside? Can't open it from the inside. Sorry, it's impossible. But don't worry, you'll get through. There are two walkways that connect Tower A and Tower B. But what if that one's frozen? It's higher up. It's, it's colder higher it's up. It's impossible. Whoops! I didn't mean to accidentally call him that time. Snake. Shut up, Otacon. Go away. <laughs> Wrong number. <laughs> I like to think the snake just hung up on him really rudely in mid sentence. <laughs> Oh, and this part's also a lot easier if you've got body armor, because you can take a lot, many more shots, twice as many shots. This Poor part... Man. You turned his head into red mist. Well, he deserved it. He was shooting at me. But, um... This part's a little harder in Twin Snakes, because... Um... Something being harder to do in Twin Snakes? Yeah, isn't that surprising? Yeah. It's because stun grenades work... Stun grenades don't work like they do in the original in in Twin Snakes. Um, they only they only knock out guys close to the explosion of the stun grenade. Everybody else only gets blinded for a second, and it's not enough to stop everybody like dead in their tracks for you like long enough for you to run away. Go away, guys! <laughs> it's like five guys on my heels. Five guys. Oh man. I never got to have five guys. Best burgers. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> I really want five guys. There was one right there next to the Nintendo store. It wasn't open yet. I know. That's that's what I was sad about. Oh. I'll just kill all these guys. So sorry about the, the lack of burgers. I had, on, a, hey, on I your, had a burger. On your visit to, to visit Void Burger. I had a burger. It was good. It was uh. a pretty good burger. Whoop. So that was a million stairs. <laughs> Something I haven't addressed is that um, a lot of stuff in Metal Gear Solid 1 is actually remade ideas from Metal Gear 2. Like, that whole thing right there, just a remake of you having to go up a communications tower in, in outer, in Zanzibar land, in Metal Gear 2. I haven't played any of the non-solid ones. I did a Let's Play of Metal Gear Solid 3 3 and I thought you watched it. No. <laughs> How dare you! Get out! I, I think I watched up to s the singing sand and I got bored. <laughs> no, hey! Mm. I'm sorry. Or, or I just like forgot and I started watching something uh. else and I just forgot it existed. I'm a forgetful person. Get out! I also haven't watched... Uh... No, he's had to. Yeah. Condemned. <laughs> yeah, I, have, I forgot about the end of Condemned. I like that one too yeah. and I just forgot to finish it. Best cutscene. Best cutscene ever. This nope. is it. 
It's later. Oh, damn it. It's But soon. he does something ridiculous in this one also. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> he was waving, he was windmilling his arms there. But yes, I really enjoy this cutscene a lot. I enjoy every Twin Snakes cutscene. It is a joy. <laughs> Pretty much. But I mean, look, just a perfect giant solid chunk of rebar. How does that happen? How's one giant chunk? It's got plenty <laughs> of time to think about this, huh? I know! And it just vaporizes <laughs> it. And then he's somehow like... He's gotta have like a jetpack or something, because he just flat out stops the instant he's about to fall off the building. I just love that he had enough time. Like He kind of moved in real time when he was waiting for the grenade to blow up. <laughs> Like, his yeah. body was going slow motion, but his head and his eyes were in regular motion. <laughs> also, if you uh, watch him grab the grenade, he pulled a grenade off his belt, but the grenade was still there on his belt. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a single grenade that has infinite grenades that you can pull <laughs> off of it. Sunglasses, etc. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe it's later. Oh no, the sunglasses for Mark is way later. Uh, like two hours at least. What? Yep. I'm awful. <laughs> I'm never gonna try to quote anything else from this game ever, starting now. Because <laughs> I've always been just flat out wrong. <laughs> Every time. If only I had a rope. Well, you, you do. I should be able to use that rope. <laughs> yeah. Yep. If only I had a rope, I yeah, have I a do. rope! <laughs> this music just goes nuts here. Also, I love this right here. Oh, uh. <laughs> no. So yeah, in the original, if you want to get down the side of the tower, you have to get the rope. If you did not grab the rope while those guys first started chasing you, you have to go back down the whole tower I did and that. get the rope. I remember yep. doing that once. It sucks if you forget to grab the rope. <laughs> so yep, you you jump and you can also walk across the building and you have to use you the walking button. <laughs> yeah, you can get shot and hit by steam. And if you just use only the jump button, you're gonna get hit by steam a lot because you just fly all over the place. You have to use the walking button to, like, steady yourself so that your jumps don't get all crazy. Oop. Also, I love his grunt. Uh, it sits to the one... This tower is busted. I know. They must be losing so much heat from this tower. Well, I mean, or whatever the steam's for. I'm assuming it's just perforated because Liquid's just been shooting up the side of this building when he's really bored. <laughs> hey, we did it. Good thing I had a rope that I got from rope thing. <laughs> but if you forgot the rope in Twin Snakes, it doesn't really matter. Because... What? It has hanging mode from MGS2. What? So yeah, you can... What? You can just climb the pipes. Holy shit! It's kind of hard because you have to drop and when you're very close to the next pipe you immediately have to press the grab button again it's tough oh my god and it it's also tough because if you haven't been doing pull-ups to level up your grip gauge you don't have that much grip so holy but yeah. shit yep Look i know that. any of that shit <laughs> what yep it's like a whole new game <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's like a mod without the, the repelling rope part. <laughs> <laughs> so we're, we're safe from Liquid for now. But there are just three guys chilling out right over here. Hello. Hi. Nikita, use and, Nikita. Uh, I will. Yeah, but uh, the, the, these guys are really tough. They take way more hits than the normal, normal guys. You can tell because they're in blue outfits with gas masks. Um... The guns they have also, uh, when you get shot by them, they push you back. So you have to kill all three of these guys before you can cross the bridge because they will just constantly shoot at you and push you back. Enemy. Enemy. Phew. <laughs> I like that nobody bothered to yeah, these shoot guys, it. The, <laughs> this very yeah, slow the, um, <laughs> the, the AI 
in this game is programmed to not react to Nikita missiles at all, pretty much. Except for one character that we'll see later on. Um, but yeah, these guys... it out of the air, it's going so slow. I know! <laughs> Just like chuck How does it even thing. fly? It's so slow that it can't... it shouldn't be able to fly. <laughs> but I thought I got all the guys, because, you know, I shot everybody with like... Oh. Ow! Yeah, that's how strong their guns are. Um... Yeah, these guys have lots of health. It takes three Nikita missiles to kill one guy. Wow. Or or all of them if they're grouped together. But yeah, they take they take a lot of hits. Face full of missiles. And this door that was frozen, well, we can we can unfreeze it by blowing it up. That that makes yeah that works. <laughs> Science. Don't ask why. Yeah. Just blew up the ice, but didn't blow up the door somehow. You know. Very sturdy door. Mm-hmm. Hello. Wow. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Whoop. Hey. There we go. I, I like how the rocket launcher is just right here. <laughs> Liquid's still out here, but he, he immediately runs away. So you can't... Well... I've never been able to do it in the original, but in Twin Snakes, I have been able to get him to shoot him with a singer, a singer, <laughs> a single stinger missile before he <laughs> before he ran away. Turned to Mei Ling there. <laughs> uh, well, might as well go down the tower. I mean, we're, okay. we're on the other we're on the other side. We don't we don't really need to care about Liquid because we can just go down the tower and just ignore him, right? Screw you know. him. Screw him, let's just go down a million stairs. We don't need the, his... his this is the stairs level, I love stairs. I just love the hell. Out of... Oh. But it's like... It's not really threatening, because the... The, no, the, 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 the lowest floor is right below that staircase. Just jump down, Snake. You Snake just, can't you just jump. jumped... You just jumped down a building. Yeah. With, uh, and without a rope. I think you can handle, like, <laughs> a six-foot drop. They changed that in Twin Snakes. It's actually, uh... You only walk down, like, two or three sets of stairs, and then... It's, like, really high up still. So it actually makes a little more sense. Huh. But then again, it's Twin Snake Snake. Who can do, like, a triple salco <laughs> over a helicopter and headbutt a tank so hard that it flies into space or something, I don't know. It's me, don't shoot! Headbutt it's me, tanks. Snake! <laughs> Ugu, oh, it's me! It wasn't as <laughs> as your entrance, believe me. I'm afraid of heights. <laughs> you were watching? I hope he does the call yeah, in three face. <laughs> God, that was the truck. best thing. Thanks to the stealth camouflage. And I love that we both yeah. noticed it at the exact yeah. same time. That was great. <laughs> Uh, Good times floor, that one episode. Was yep. That's why I took the elevator. The elevator was working. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Snake the elevator. Yeah. Why don't you go over there and check cool. it out, Snake? Like a movie hero oh. or something. Could could have hit on him right there. Oh, you're, you're so dreamy, wrong. Snake. Oh. <laughs> In the movies, the hero always saves the girl. Oh, Snake, your shoulder. What's going on? <laughs> Sorry. Forget I said anything. Snake, there's something I've really got to ask you. Do you Before like I me? You like, <laughs> like me, like me? Oh, I thought he just, he just kind of froze there. Loved someone? That's what you came to ask. I'm not into no, dudes. I, mean, I, I was wondering if even soldiers fall in love. What are you trying to say? I want to ask you. Marry me. <laughs> That's what I when I first played this I seriously thought this is where, where that was where it was going. Yeah, it's kind of how the <laughs> hand on hip. Sassy. People can fall in love with each other. It's kind of what the lines seem to him. If you love someone, I don't I don't know if they I want to say oh man, these this li these lines here totally imply that Otacon and Snake are a pair I ship this. But but it's kind of what the lines sound like. Yeah, especially Until, like Otacon's side, because you you can tell that Snake is probably talking about Meryl, but you don't really know that Otacon's got a thing for Sniper Wolf right now. Yeah, it's kind of sort of implied, but not you can't really catch catch that too well. So it well, sounds like he's kind just of been implied like, because he he talks about how Sniper Wolf is a nice person because she likes dogs and 
Yeah, but that's not like I'm in love with her. Well, it's Otacon, too. And he's talking about soldiers falling in love on the battlefields. And, you know, yeah, that's true. Like Snake is the soldier. Okay? Don't worry. If I do this, it doesn't matter. <laughs> just pretend like I'm not <laughs> that hand wave. And I'm not scared. Strange logic. I'm counting on you. Whatever. See ya. Gonna go cry in a corner now, Snake, because you clearly don't love me. <laughs>